Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer with CNET, and sitting next to me is Samsung's best TV ever. This is the PNF8500 series. It's Samsung's top-of-the-line plasma for 2013. Superb picture quality on this TV, as well as oodles of features, but the thing you'll notice first and foremost is the unique stand. Along the bottom here, you can see it's got a curved design. Also extends the entire width of the television, so we actually had to bring in a wider table for it for this video. All told, uh, most people are probably going to take off the stand who can afford this television and hang it on the wall. But if you decide to keep it, it's one of the cooler looking stands we've ever seen. Of course, there's no swivel on a design like this, but that's the price for high style. In addition to the stand, I also appreciate the TV's very narrow bezel. It's got a nice metallic grayish finish here. Looked at from the side, it appears a little bit like an LED TV, not a plasma. All told, one of the nicer looking plasma TVs we've ever seen. I mentioned features at the top. One of the other external things you'll notice here is it's got a little pop-up camera. You can press this camera and it'll just pop right off the top of the screen. Of course, that'll allow you to use Skype, which is built into this television, as well as Samsung's gesture control features. I didn't test it on this TV yet, but last year the gesture control wasn't all that useful unless you really lost the remote and were kind of in a bind. Speaking of remote control, that's another extra feature on this TV. It's a touchpad remote that's uh, got very few buttons, but I really liked how it felt. Very quick responsiveness, and the touchpad, of course, was great for navigating the browser built into this television. The downside, of course, is that you don't get that many buttons. You have to actually go into a separate menu to select channels directly, as well as access additional features that are usually dedicated to buttons on standard remotes. Of course, this set also comes with the latest software. That's Samsung's recommendation engine and a new on-TV suite that allows it to control your cable box as well as suggest different TV shows. So it kind of aims to replace your cable box's interface. You can press the menu key and it takes you right to suggestions for upcoming TV shows and things it thinks you might like. On the downside, it really doesn't integrate your DVR very well. So if you're the kind of person that watches a lot of stuff from your DVR, the system won't be all that useful. Of course, Samsung packs in plenty of apps. This is the only brand that includes HBO Go, uh, as well as pretty much every other streaming video service known to man. There's also a bunch of games, a bunch of audio services, including Spotify. So all told, the app selection here is second to none. I actually did like the design of the Smart TV interface as well. It's a little bit like a smartphone. You can flip from page to page here and access different things like those apps, the On TV section, including a cross-platform browse for uh, on streaming services. There's also, of course, access to the cloud and local media. So again, one of the more comprehensive smart TV features out there. On the back panel, there's plenty to be found. Four HDMI, three USB, as well as a single analog input that doubles for composite and component video. You'll also notice a big ad for Samsung's Evolution Kit. This TV can be upgraded, basically replacing the entire brains of the television with a forthcoming kit that should be available at the beginning of next year. That will allow this TV to get any of those new features that Samsung decides to build in. Samsung rounds out the feature package with four pairs of active 3D glasses in the box. I'm not a big fan of the glasses. They didn't fit all that well and they feel a little flimsy, but since this is a universal active 3D TV, you can buy third-party glasses if you want. In addition to gesture control, you also get voice control on this set. You press a little button on the remote control and talk to it to perform keyword searches for TV shows and movies. But more than its cutting-edge features and design, the thing that impressed me most about this high-end TV was its picture quality. As I mentioned, this is the best picture that I've ever seen from Samsung, and it's right up there with the very best Panasonic and local dimming LED TVs out there. The F8500 exhibits extremely deep black levels and very accurate color, but the thing that sets it apart from those other plasma TVs is its light output. This thing can get extremely bright, almost as bright as some LED TVs, and of course that really helps its picture quality in rooms where you can't control ambient lighting. Of course, this is where I remind you that most plasma TVs are plenty bright for most rooms, but if you have one of those extremely bright rooms, you're avoiding plasmas for that reason, you might want to look into this set. Of course, that brings up one final downside. This flagship TV is extremely expensive, but again, you really get plenty of picture quality, features, and design for the price. That's a quick tour of Samsung's PNF8500 Plasma TV. I'm David Katzmeyer for CNET.